Bill and Tom's Grilling. Uh, tonight we're doing something new. We're going to do some of the shrimp po' boys and the crab cakes with the Ninja Foodie Air Fryer right here in the garage. Not going to break anything out tonight on the black stone or the smoker. Do something a little simple. So if you're new to this channel, how about hit the subscribe button. Um, click on that notification bell down, down there so that way you know when I'm posting a video. How about give me a thumbs up or give me a like. Uh, for the ones of you who do follow me, you know what to do. So um, give me a few minutes and we'll get started. Alright everyone, got the air fryer up the temperature, it's preheated. And these are the crab cakes we're going to be cooking in there tonight. Got these from our local old timey meat market people, local people. Uh, you need to try to support the local people. I got every chance I get. So, do a few minutes and we'll open that back up and see how it's going. Alright, everyone. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I didn't show you doing the crab cakes. I had a little bit of difficulty there. The breaker kept tripping for some reason, but here you go, here's the shrimp. We're gonna do it with some Old Bay seasoning. We're waiting on the ninja to get up the temperature. Well, this stuff's always so hard to come out of here. It always is. See, we got it all seasoned up with some old base seasoning. over and do the other side. Inside this air fryer, first time ever doing this, so very with me with the air fryer thing. This is the wash contraption, not mine. All right, I'll season one side. We're gonna go ahead and season this side of the trap with his old base seasoning. And as soon as the... All right, he's asking for me to go ahead and add the food. I'm gonna throw a little bit of pan back on there so it don't stick. Go ahead and get these shrimps in there. These shrimps. I call them shrimps. Put them all sit in here. I had to put some more flavor into them in here, but you know what? Put them up with our hands a lot faster. See them all down in there. Right off that to do. Lose that and let it roll for a few minutes and we'll be done. Come back and check on them. All right, that shrimp there, there for about three minutes, so we're going to turn them over. Put them on the other side. It don't take long to cook shrimp, so. i tell you one thing. Wish I were here, because it smells good, awfully good. I don't kind of turn over there. One thing I can say, missing out on the smell. They sure are smelling good. I don't want to ask them to be a good poke boy here. I know most people fry fried shrimp. I don't like dealing with all that today. Mine as a grilled, grilled po shrimp po boy. Okay. So what we got? 
sandwich. I think we're about done with this thing. Oh yeah. Good. We're done with the shrimps. I like to call them shrimps. You know it don't take long. It don't take long to cook the shrimp. Minutes and be done with them. These went just a tad bit longer than what I wanted, but hey, I will. Ain't got to worry about that. They'll get eaten eat in this house. Okay. We'll go inside and build a sandwich, and that'll be the end of it, and we'll get ready for the Super Bowl. a little bit of shredded lettuce we're gonna put it right there sorry about my finger in the way Add a little bit of shredded lettuce that's a couple pieces of shrimps right here on the Good old po' boy. Sorry about all this, trying to do it one handed. And we're gonna pour a little bit of the sauce on. Well, I say we're gonna pour some sauce on them. Won't come out the bottom. This is the sauce I used with the po' boy. Got some tater tots that the wife cooked in the oven. Here's the, here's the sandwich, along with a little bit more of some coleslaw. 